What's up guys, welcome to another video. Um, so this video is gonna be a tutorial video. Um, we've kind of been doing more vlog style videos, however, I have received a lot of attention, um, at least on the Facebook forums and stuff like that for, for uh, this headlight, the headlights that I've been working on for the Eclipse. Um, I finished one so far, so I figured, you know, for the second one, I'll give you guys, uh, I'll try to make this as detailed as possible. Um, but pretty much we're going to be installing some Acura Jewel headlights, uh, Jewel, Jewel projectors, I mean, um, into the DSM headlight. This is pretty much a universal process. It doesn't really matter what they're going in. Um, obviously, some of the cutting and whatever measuring measurements are going to be different. However, pretty much the point stays the same where you just cut everything out and make it work. So here is the factory headlight. And then here is the Acura retrofitted DSM headlight. Um, a lot of people have been asking me to build them some. And then there's also been a lot of people that have just been asking questions about how to make this work. So I figured, you know, I'll make this video. Um, that way it'll kind of clear things up for you guys if you want to make some of these bad boys right here. But here's what they look like with the low beam on. So the first step's obviously going to be, uh, you know, take your headlights off. Or in my case, I've just been ordering a new set of headlights every time I build them. Basically, I just want that fresh, clean look. They're like around a hundred dollars. The the past, the last set I bought uh, before these, I bought it for like eighty bucks. But for some reason, they kind of jumped up a little bit. So this this set I bought for one twenty off of eBay. Uh, they're just uh, I believe they're Depot or, or I think they're Depot or something like that. Some, you know, aftermarket headlight brand. So yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull them off and then we'll uh, get started. All right guys, so first step's going to be uh, to remove all these little clips that hold the lens to the housing. Um, and then I also like to just pull everything that's easily removable off of the headlight. Um, and then the uh, next step is going to be obviously just to bake the headlight. Um, I put these in at 200 degrees for about 5-6 minutes um, and then they come apart pretty easily. Uh, now these are aftermarket headlights, so if you get OEM headlights or if you're going to try to bake your factory headlights, uh, it might be different. They might not even bake open because I know the glue they use varies. Um, all the aftermarket headlights that I've ever done, they've been, you know, I was able to bake them open. I tried to do a set of OEM headlights off of BMW one time and I was not able to bake those open. So. If you, if you can't, like, it should come apart pretty easily. So if, you, if it doesn't start coming apart, once you start prying at it, it's most likely not bakeable. So I would just leave it there and probably just order a set of headlights off of eBay or whatever that you can bake, because it'll be a lot easier than to try to rip open that glue. While this one's in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and um, Cut my Acura headlight open because they have a full headlight with everything. So I just cut it open with a little angle grinder or something and start extracting the goods. All right, and that's it. There's our lens. We will have to modify this housing, this black part. But for now, it's going off to the side. All right, now that it's separated from the lens, you gotta take this chrome part out, which is just the three adjuster screws. You just gotta back them all the way out. Bam. This is garbage now. And now we cut. So I'm gonna mark this up and then I will 
cut it all out. All right, so I, I drew the lines on here. Um, I'm gonna separate this into two separate cuts. First, I'm gonna cut this uh, intersection out, and then I will um, plastic weld the little, I have a quarter inch thick ABS plastic for where the mounting's gonna go on the new projectors. Um, and the reason I don't wanna just cut this whole section out is then I'm, I'm afraid that the headlight's gonna be you know, I could make it too thin or too wide or whatever. So I'm just gonna do it in separate pieces. That way, it'll be good. Right? I think so. All right guys, so this is what it should look like after the first cut. Um, like I said, I, I split up the cuts so this doesn't get too flimsy and I, you know, I don't weld it in the wrong way. So it's kind of going to retain its factory uh, form. So I cut all this out and then I'm going to make a bracket for the projectors out of some quarter inch ABS plastic. Um, so I obviously already marked it. And uh, I'm going to cut it out and then I'm going to heat it up with a heat gun uh, where it needs to be bent. Obviously to kind of, you know, make it into a U so it fits in here nice. Um, and then I'll, pla uh, and then I'll, uh, I guess it's called plastic welding. I don't really know what it's called, but pretty much I'm gonna melt it up together with a soldering iron around here. And then once that's in, then I'll go ahead and cut this side out. And I'm gonna have to make another bracket on this side uh, as well. So. All right guys, so as you can see here, I've cut the rest of the headlight out. Um, I'm gonna include some more pictures or something on the Facebook channel, or Facebook channel, the Facebook page, just so you guys can kind of see a better, um, pretty much a little template or whatever, so you don't cut too much off. And then here's the Acura headlight, I cut it off. I just cut around as far as I could, pretty much just to get this out. Um, it's already popped out of these two little balls over here, so I just gotta unscrew the one uh, regulator. And then I'll have the projector out, and then we're gonna put it in here. Right, Mike? Right, Mike. All right, so the last thing we need off of this uh, Acura headlight is just this little bezel mount for the ballast. So I'm gonna cut that off where I outlined it, and then we're gonna put it on the back of here and then we're gonna kind of finish everything off with just some uh, thinner plastic all right guys so this is day two now of working on the headlight um, if you've gotten this far then you're pretty much stuck with finishing it <laughs> but yeah um, so basically um, all I have to do now is just fill in the rest of the gaps um, and then drill the holes for the new, uh, the new mounting locations for the projectors. And that is what I'm gonna do today, hopefully. As you can see, pretty much what I've been doing is just cutting out little puzzle pieces, essentially. And then just, I've been using a heat gun to kind of heat them up and bend them into place. So like I'm about to heat this one up right here and kind of bend it down to match better with that. But essentially that's all you do, you just put together a big puzzle, cut it out however you need it, and then in the end, hopefully it doesn't fall apart when you pick it up. And then I'll just have to uh, make a piece to go through around here, which is gonna be a very easy piece compared to this one in here, which was pretty hard. I'm also gonna plastic weld it from the inside too as much as I can. There's gonna be some spots where I won't be able to reach, but I try to get it to the best of my ability, and yeah, then we'll send it.
All right, so this is where I'm at right now. Um, so I've kind of installed this into the housing. Um, I haven't really finished it, obviously, as you can see, it still moves. So I got the holes drilled for the mounting screws. Now I'm just gonna weld a little plastic cylinder in here to kind of space it out and uh, hold this spring back that I put in here. So that way um, I have the ability to adjust this spring will hold it forward if I tighten the nut it's gonna come back in so I got the bezel cut out to fit the projector but now what I need to do is make a little piece to fit up top and kind of cover this gap up because it's kind of huge. So the easiest way that I can think of is just to lay a piece of tape on top of it from here and then uh, mark it from the bottom the exact uh, shape that I need because this part is just going to be straight over here um, and then cut it out of some ABS spare plastic that I bought. All right, so now that that's marked, I'm gonna go ahead and tape this onto a piece of plastic and cut it out. All right, so as you can see right here, I plastic welded a little sliver to cover up that gap. It looks pretty dang nice now. Kind of shaped this corner a little bit to fit around the little chrome part on the projector. So now I'm gonna uh, file this down, make it nice and smooth, uh, fill it with just a little bit of Bondo if, if there's any uh, low spots, and then primer it and spray paint it black, and then the projector will be ready to go back together. Finally. Whew.